Hello and welcome to this British Psychological Society audio interview. I'm Wendy Barnaby and I'm joined by Till Wikes, who's Professor of Clinical Psychology and Rehabilitation at King's College London. And Till, congratulations, you've just received a societal award for your part in championing the role of mental health service users in research. What sort of research are we talking about? Well, actually, there is a, an example of how service users have affected research in a study that we've just been doing, which is looking at how we can improve the thinking skills in people with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. We had a group of service users who designed a questionnaire and they then went out with another service user to interview people who were in a trial that we were, we'd carried out. And when we looked at the data that came back, sometimes people said, well, the therapy, if I don't feel it's improving me, then it makes me feel worse about myself. And we hadn't got an effect on self-esteem. You know, there was no change over time in self-esteem from the trial. But we then looked at whether people did actually improve within the therapy and analyzed the data again. And lo and behold, the service users were absolutely right that when they didn't discern a change, an improvement, then their self-esteem actually did get worse. However, for those who saw they had an improvement, their self-esteem went up. And that was very important in changing the therapy because it helped us to design the therapy in small, very small steps so that everybody would discern an improvement in their behavior. And that I think is a really important reason for involving service users. And probably if we had gone out and interviewed people who'd taken part in the trial, we would not have got that result because we know that service users are not that critical when they're interviewed by researchers and they're much more critical when they're interviewed by service user researchers. Is it difficult to engage mental health service users in research like this? There's an awful lot of enthusiasm now. I think we've travelled quite a long way. Certainly my first experience of trying to involve service users in research, I was actually talking to a service user group and they threw me out halfway through. Why? Uh, well, that was because I clearly the questions I was uh, raising or the issues I was talking about raised a lot of emotions in several people. So I wasn't just excluded because of what I had done, but because there was a lot of unrest amongst the other people in the group. But even after that, you just have to keep trying. So I believe that it was important to involve service users in research. And actually, I've learned a lot over the time that I've uh, been trying to do this. It takes a lot for people to trust you. As I said, it's a mental health treatments and services are ones which you can be coerced into taking drugs or being in hospital. And that's a difficult thing to overcome, particularly also as mental health problems are associated with such stigma and discrimination. So one of the things that any researcher has to do is to gain the trust of service users. And that trust is always hard won and can be easily lost. So you just have to keep trying. And you've set up something called the Service Users Research Enterprise. So it's the Service User Research Enterprise, or SURE as we call it, actually employs people with who have an experience of using mental health services, and we employ those people as researchers. They're also, of course, expert researchers as well, but they need this added, what we think of as an advantage, so that they actually do understand the service user's perspective on research questions and on how to carry out research. So we've been running now for more than 10 years and we've been pretty successful actually in how we've uh, managed to gain some reasonable reputation and we have had PhD students who've been successful and I'm not the director, I am now the co-director with another professor who uh, is Diana Rose, who sort of came through the Service User Research Network and is now a professor of service user-led research in King's College London. 
You've talked about the difficulty of getting the service users on board. What about the difficulty of getting the academics on board? Well, that's really interesting because um, certainly at the beginning, this was thought of as just one of those politically correct things to do. But actually, I think that over time, and I think they've been, many people have been dragged out of their previous views because organisations like the National Institute for Health Research, NIHR, in their funding applications actually require you to write about how service users have been involved. And you, they need to be not just involved in developing the ideas, but also in carrying out the research. And because of that, I think we've had people being pulled towards thinking about this. And certainly in King's College London, Shaw has a clinic for academics to come, who can come along and ask questions about how they might do this particular task in terms of involving service users. So clearly the way that the funding is given for grants has helped this work. Is there anything else that has given people a push or a pull? I think the other thing that's helped is that NIHR also runs something called the Clinical Research Networks, CRN, and it's a comprehensive network and all of the various disorder areas have um, thought about how they'll involve service users in research and certainly the mental health research theme of the CRN has actually done that and we've provided the, a lot of support for academics in terms of helping them contact service users who are in their particular disorder area or have the right diagnosis. We've also organise things for service users in terms of good practice so so service users can understand what's expected of them and that academics can understand what would be the best practice for involving service users in their research and we've also provided quite a lot of support for generally for service users in the process because it's a new thing for everybody and we do need to share it around so we need a wide group of people wide group of academics who can provide support and a wide group of service users and one of the things that the mental health theme has done is to support that area of research.